This Tennessee History for Kids video is sponsored by the Memorial Foundation, bringing alive the history of the volunteer state. Well, good day, everyone. This is History Bill, and I'm in Nashville today. I've just met a new friend, and I'm learning about him as we speak. Um, sir, you're a Native American. Um, what what tribe are you with? Cherokee. Oh, the Cherokee. So you're were you from East Tennessee? Or? East Tennessee, I am. And of course, the Cherokee people covered East Tennessee, part of Georgia, Alabama, North and South Carolina, Virginia, Kentucky. And uh, you've got some things here that tell us a lot about Cherokee culture. But uh, what is your Cherokee name? What is your name? They do Yohoski no le Kalanuski. They do Lahoski Kalanuski. I hate to tell you what you just said. Well, I'm, but, I'm uh, pardon me. <laughs> what does your name mean in English? In English, it translates teacher and storyteller. I think I'll use that that word, teacher and storyteller. Okay. Now, what do you have here? Uh, now, this is a choker necklace. This is made out of wampum shell, something that was traded into this area. It wasn't uh -huh. found naturally here, but you'll notice it's white and purple. Four. These four plus yeah. shapes, and there are seven of those. Seven is the most important Cherokee number. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, we just met. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. You're just going to show it to me. Yeah, but okay. I, I've, you have a reputation that has preceded you. Bill. Okay. Uh, this is what's called a pipe tomahawk. Oh. Okay. Now, here you see this is a blade. This is the bowl here, and if you look, you see this is a stem, pipe stem. This is hollow. But the idea here was that it carried your prayers up to the Creator. Oh, okay. Okay? And so... Can I hold that? You can hold that. If it were actual combat, you'd need something more like this. Oh, yeah. You know, so this would be more of a weapon. You're nervous, Bill. I, I, I just get nervous around people with, with weapons, but, you know... I understand. I just met. Okay, now this war club, Bill, is uh, similar, similar purpose, course, Yeah. But and similar in design a little bit, but you see it's one piece of cherry wood. It's like a baseball bat. Maybe this way. Oh, there yeah, well, go. held it properly. There's a feather. What's the? What is the? I see a lot of feathers over here. What is that? Now, this is a turkey wing. Wings like this make good fans. And so obviously on a warm day, but also you've heard the term fanning the flames. Yeah. It helps you getting a fire started. Now, uh, we have football, we have basketball, baseball. What kind of sports do Cherokee play? Play, play football? Well, I tell you what, play something a little tougher than football. Bill. Tougher than football. Tougher than football. Uh, and the reason I say that is uh, you guys have helmets. You have oh, yeah. pads. You have timeouts. You have time limits. Yeah. Not so in stickball. Stickball. Stickball, otherwise known as the little brother of war. The little brother of war. Nothing more dangerous than this game other than going to war, Bill. Really? So you got a ball like this, little yeah. leather ball. Now, what do you suppose the other team is trying to do? Uh... Uh, stop you. Exactly. They're trying to stop you. And they may tackle you. They may trip you. They may take this stick against your neck and pin well, you to a tree. Penalty. Penalty. No, there's no penalties. I'm sorry. No penalties. Well, unless if you pick that ball up off the ground by your hand rather than by your stick, yeah. then there's a penalty. Now, I saw a, uh, I saw a, lovely, a lovely lady here a second ago. There's now, a lovely that, lady here. Is that, is that uh, someone that you know? I know her quite well. She is my wife, Zula Adisi. Well, let's, uh, I want to I talk to her and find out about some of the things she has. Okay. But thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't steal the stick, though. Don't steal it. Oh, is that a penalty? That's a penalty. Oh. Now, uh, would your name be Sula Adisi? Yes. Now, what are you cooking here? Um, this is venison. Ooh, venison. It's, That's deer, right? It, it, right. And it's just smoking. Does it taste good? Uh, yes. Let's see. Would you oh, like a taste? I, I love a taste. Mmm. They're very tough, too. Now, <laughs> what do we have in the pot? Well, this is three sisters. Three sisters, those it's being? Beans. Beans. Corn. Corn. Squash. Those are the three their sisters. Is that is that something in Cherokee tradition that that's what that's, what that's known as? Yes, or? they grow together in the garden. Oh, or? now you had some other food items over here. Can you show those to me? Okay. This is like the uh, produce section of a of a grocery store. What what is all this stuff? Here? Well, these are uh -huh. dried peaches. Dried peaches. Uh, walnuts, of course, gathered from the yeah. uh, woods. Uh, dried cranberries, and then we have uh, parched corn. That's something a man could carry on a hunting trip. 
Did you want to taste the parched corn? I love parched corn. <clears throat> Parched corn, it's crunchy like a uh, popcorn kernel. The Some flies seem like to like it too. So hopefully corn. I'm going to make well, sure I'm just eating parched corn and not flies. It's a little sweet. Oh. I'm beginning to think that if I had been a member of the Cherokee tribe, I would have been a fat member of the Cherokee tribe because I keep eating everything. Now, Mr. Oh, my. oh, wait. Oh, uh, excuse me. Bill, you probably scared him just as much as he scared you. Don't I don't you think guess? there's much scaring him at That's this point. That's probably true. Um, now, who are these um, these critters? Now, this one is a coyote. Let's get him down. This is what's left of the coyote, of course. This is the hide. So, and what would I... What would I do with this thing? Well, that's right. You put it on your head and let it hang down your back like that. It's camouflage. 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 Helps you get into the deer population without being noticed as much. Yeah. It covers up your scent. My scent? Your scent. Now, there was one other thing I was hoping you could show me. I've heard about this. Is this a, is this a blowgun? This is a blowgun, Bill. It's made out of river cane. It's hollow naturally, except where these joints are. So you have to stick a rod down through there and knock those out. Then you need a dart. Need a dart. Need a dart made out of wood, sharpened with some thistle on the end of it, so it goes in the other end, Bill. Oh, I, I knew that. <laughs> I just wanted to see if this end was hollow, yeah. which it is. It is. It is. Can, can you show us how to do it? Sure. Okay, I, I'm going to stand over here. Not that I don't trust you or believe that you can hit. Are you going to try to hit something in particular? I am. I have a target. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. Let's see if he does it. All right. How do you say goodbye in Cherokee? Well, there's not really a word for goodbye in Cherokee. Uh -huh. We believe we'll meet again, maybe this life or the next life. So what if, if, you're, if you're leaving someone, what do you say? How about ski? Ski. Thank you. Thank you. Thank ski. You. Ski. And um, in addition to saying that, I think I'm going to say as I leave, I'm going to get a little more venison. Okay. <laughs>